One of the best ways to see and explore a city is by bike, and there is no better way to connect with the community's local trails than by hooking up with a local cycling club. Coming up next on Paddle the Springs, we're going to hear from the gang at one of Colorado Springs' coolest clubs. Welcome and roll on in to Pedal the Springs podcast, where we banter about all things biking in Colorado Springs and the Pikes Peak region. I'm your host, Tori Giffen, self-appointed ambassador for cycling in the Springs and owner of the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort. And what I don't know about biking in this area, my friends do. We are coming to you from the Studio 809 Community Podcast Studio at The Next Us, a professional cooperative environment for small businesses in in downtown Colorado Springs and this is our 21st Pet of the Springs podcast and our very first one coming to you with video <laughs> you can see I brought all the beautiful people uh, for for this so so I'm gonna introduce my guest today this is one of my best bicycling buddies in the entire world Gail Smickless. Hey. Yeah, I can't wait to tell our story about how we became sisters through cycling. So glad to have you, Gail. Glad to be here, Tori. Woo! I'm bringing the beauty today, you know, <laughs> pulling out all the stops. We got Todd Chamberlain. Welcome, Todd. Part of our Buffalo Lodge bike tribe. We're so happy to have you. Thank you, Tori. Appreciate you bringing me here. This is fun. I know. We did this really on the spur of the moment today, too. So it's awesome that you guys could all come together. So, And then I have the beautiful Sheila Wilson. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Sheila. Thanks for having me, Tori. This is her first podcast, and she's like, oh, man, I would have said no if I knew it was I'm, on video. I'm going to kill you later. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we'll tell our stories later. But, okay. I mean, I've even gotten her to ride unicycles and parades and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Uh, with our bike club it's been amazing and then oh man I mean this guy is so special to me Uh, I have been leading bike rides in Colorado Springs for over a decade uh, through the Chick-fil-a free breakfast rides and Colorado Springs Cycling Club and then when I started the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort seven years ago uh, I was the only ride leader I could count on and so for most of that you know six out of the seven years I'd say at least you know it was all about me and occasionally I'd go out of town and get a sub but uh, we had this one guy that would just show up every week and just had the biggest smile and the best energy in the entire world and I was just like man if I could ever get that guy you know to lead my rides and be part of my my real tribe at the Buffalo Lodge I would be so lucky and one day we did and this is Jersey Mike let's give it up for Jersey Mike yeah our, Thank you, Tor. our ride leader I mean I love you so much uh, if I can't be there um, I mean you're better than having me there I think that everybody can agree now. I used to think that the rides had to be all about me. And uh, you take it to the next level so that I can go on rum drinking bicycle tours of Florida (laughs) once in a while and get away. And I know that my ride group is in good hands with you. So (laughs) this is Jersey Mike. And he is the ride leader for one of Colorado Springs, definitely coolest club. And it only seemed fitting that for our first video podcast um, and for, you know, one of our first club po- uh, interview co- podcast that we uh, we bring on the Buffalo Lodge has their very own Bike Club. We are the Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe. Bike Tribe. Yes. Bike Tribe. Yes. Yeah. We are, and oh my gosh, we I think we are one of the coolest clubs. I mean, you've got the oldest clubs. They are the oldest, but I'm, I'm part of them too. <laughs> They're cool. You know, we got like the racer clubs. We got the female clubs, but I think that we create an amazing, unique community through the Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe. It doesn't matter. Uh, we do pretty much kind of a recreational intermediate to uh, intermediate advanced ride Um, we do rides year-round right out of the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort and whether you're a local 
or you're coming to the Springs, you could come and join our rides, and Mike's going to lead them. Yep. I'll be there. I'll be there every Saturday. I'll be there making routes for you. So, so yes. Yeah, so he comes up with our routes each week. Mm. He leads our faster ride group. And tell me what the bike tribe means to you. I mean, like, why did? How did you find the bike tribe? So uh, this is going to be a long story, but the first time I found the bike tribe was when I did my first group ride with Colorado Spring Cycling Club, oh. and you happened to be part of that group that day. And then after going for the ride and talking with you, you said, hey, I do the Saturday ride every Saturday. You should come ride with me. Come ride with my group. Come be a part of my tribe. So I, I, I stole you. You, you stole me pretty much. <laughs> but, and then six days later, I showed up to your ride, and I haven't missed really a ride since. I've been there every Saturday for about three or so years now. Three or so years. By the way, I think I still remember, was that at the Ferris or Legacy the brand new Ferris Legacy Trailhead, and I, I, our club is also we partner up with the Colorado Springs Cycling Club for our Saturday rides, and so it was a Colorado Springs Sunday Social Ride. Correct. And yep. and I was I leading or just there that day? I think I was just there. That you were day. just there that day because yeah. I remember Bob Boyd was leading that ride. Yeah, so. yeah, and I was like, oh. You're young and yeah. fun. You got to come right. <laughs> That's right. And you got me. And you still got me now. That's amazing. I mean, I'm super honored. And um, uh, everybody, I mean, the thing that struck me about you is people, we just, nobody's ever done this with any of our other riders, but people come up to me all the time about you. I remember Scott offered. Um, I shouldn't even tell secrets, but uh, but but there they, there are so many people that just think you're such amazing people that they just want to do whatever they can to you know to make life more fun and possible for you. So uh, you have mad respect, and now you have the respect of the bike club. What do you guys want to say about? I mean, we should just do a Michael oh, appre- <laughs> Jersey Mike appreciation <laughs> morning love up. He didn't know it was going to be this, but really, if you think about the tribe the way that it is today we've had the buffalo lodge bike tribe it's been going strong for seven years now we do year-round rides every saturday uh it's at 10 o'clock in the morning in the off season uh and then we go to 8 30 in the morning during the summer Mm -hmm. we have a monday night ride that we do and then many other events but um really you know these days like mike is the man with the with the plan for the bike tribes what do you want to say about mike I think Mike is super awesome, and I enjoy seeing him at all the rides on Saturdays that I'm actually able to go to. I trust him um, as much as I trust you to just keep us safe along the route as well, because that's really important to me. Um, That's why I ride in a group, so thank you. Um, Also, when I had bike issues, he was there to help me, so he's super knowledgeable in that department. And he's also a hiker. So our Wednesday night hikes, he's there supporting the lodge and um, everyone out there. So thank you, Mike. Of and course. they're Monday, but oh, they're sorry, Monday, Monday night. The Monday night hikes, hikes. That's okay. at five thirty. Yeah. Yep. So in the summer, we actually have our Garden Gears Buffalo Beers bike ride every Monday night. Um, we ride out of the Buffalo Lodge and around Garden of the Gods, and then we come back and we drink together. It's great community. We even start doing community meals, which was really fun this year. But when it starts getting dark before you know six o'clock, we move to a hiking club, and Mike also leads our hikes. We like Mike. Can you tell that? (laughs) (laughs) What about you, Todd? How'd you come to the club? And you know, what do you, why did you join the Buffalo? There's a lot of clubs in town. What made you join the Buffalo Lodge bike tribe? Well, I got lucky in that I was introduced to the lodge last year and actually it was yoga, I think was the first thing I did there. And then I came to see some bands and karaoke. And I think the first bike ride I might've done out of the lodge was, uh, coffin races for the parade last year. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So this year when I moved here, uh, I'd been lucky enough to have been introduced to the lodge and I started the first Saturday ride of the year, January, whatever that was, fourth or fifth, you know, and I lived just down the road. So big part of it was proximity. I live very much Mm -hmm. right next to Garden of Gods on purpose. 
a group of people riding. I thought it'd be fun to go. And yeah, Mike was there leading it, you know, and it was, I met an incredibly welcoming community. So you're new to town and you had an instant community because yeah. you found the Buffalo Lodge bike tribe, right? Right. And it's funny because I almost feel like such a regular now. It's been really cool to see that happen to other people, you know, yes. and like, I feel really proud to be part of it, but it's, it, you know, that's a neat part of of the club is I think it's hard to move into a community a lot of times and when you can find somebody and we have every ability like you said there's different clubs that you can belong to if you're looking for a particular thing and we sent we tend to be everything which yeah. is really cool so yeah so you guys are both a big part of that so yeah. it's it's nice to have, to have met you and you even stepped up I mean like yeah, he has. like you Big know time. so tell me about that Mike because you know you like you become one of us in a regular and we put you to work <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we do if you can handle it that's for sure no but Todd's been a huge tremendous help this past season just leading our helping with rides and everything because a ride is only as good as the sweep is mm -hmm. and Todd has been my go-to reliable sweep for this season and I'm very grateful for that Thank you. It's been an interesting uh, position to learn, basically. <laughs> yeah. so, and then the morning you had the mechanical that I just decided, I'm not sure if I'm really ready to ride. I'm going to go easy on coffee. And Mike's like, I think Tori's going to ask you to leave the ride. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I mean, that's really cool, too, because it you know, makes me step up. So it's mm -hmm. nice to have people that can challenge you. And we've certainly challenged each other a lot. So. Yeah. Well, every, I mean, every bike club needs people that, you know, that do step up to make it possible and make it happen. And we've been really fortunate to, you know, have great people that do that and can spot out some leadership talents and just some really big hearts that, you know, can hang back because it is a special person that it takes to sweep a ride mm -hmm. and be there with the people that show up that aren't ready, don't have their tires aired up. They're not quite ready for the ride. And, you know, or if anybody gets a flat to be be able to fix that flat and it makes the difference between somebody having you know a bad experience and a great experience that they'll come back for you know um you usually play to you know it's it's important i think to play to your um weakest link and stuff when you're leading a ride and yeah. help ensure that they have a good experience every you know the hard riders are going to ride they're they're going to do their thing they're going to they're going to grind. Grinders going to grind. Yep. That's what I got to say. Right. Grinders are going to grind. Uh, you can't stop them. <laughs> but it's that new person that you can really make a big difference for, and it does make all the difference. So, yeah. Well, my friend Sheila, I'm like, you were kind of new to our club. Yep. Is it last year? Or the, um, when did you join the club? I – it's a bit blurry, but I think it was uh, last year. I mean, I – I'd. I actually had heard about Buffalo Lodge, you'll love this, for, via, um, well, uh, an, old, an old friend, Greg Miller, but also yes. some from friends of ours. I've worked in bike shops in different places, and, and uh, a friend of mine, um, Brian Deemer, and his wife had worked with me in bike shops, and they were moving from the northwest coast to uh, Colorado Springs, and they stayed in your lodge that's amazing and wow. you know but it took me a while to connect everything so i think the first ride might have been through the colorado springs cycling club okay. and then you know and so now i'm both i spend i'm, I'm part of both but i'm anyway. both yeah he's yeah. both yeah, I'm both. yeah. <laughs> yeah. and well, it's been great yeah. yeah yeah i i talk you guys up to a lot of people even if they don't cycle so what just it, yeah come. <laughs> yeah you should just come come drink with us <laughs> come, come it's music. not all about drinking no it's not <laughs> although i you know i am grateful to have our own bar at the lodge so you know <laughs> i i feel that podcasts go really nice with some <laughs> good moonshine and you know some cider and Dr. Pat's <laughs> yep. Amen to that. podcast powered by uh by by a little bit. Of, I forgot your kombucha. Okay. I said, oh, I we have Springs Culture kombucha, too. We do serve kombucha. Oh. I'm a bad friend. I will take you yeah, out afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it that you like about this club? Like, Oh, I like, uh, I mean, others have said it, but that it's very welcoming. And I, um, you know, I just love that, you know, it, like you said, Tori, if um, someone you know kind of being with the weakest link as link as well as allowing those who are are fast to go fast and i find both you and mike are really good as leaders and we have a lot of good people helping as sweeps or 
whatever. And it's just a good group, you know. It's and, and I've also, because I'm fairly, you know, I've only been in the Springs a little less than three years, and I didn't know any of the streets, and still, especially down this way until I started riding with you guys. So It really yeah, is one of the best of ways And to... I've made... I made new friends, you know, just being, I've moved a lot in my life. And uh, so connecting with people is important to me. And that was uh, one way I was connecting with some friends. So it's, it's been really great. That's Thank neat. You. So that is the intent. I mean, I think that, are, are you riding with Mice Group more now? Uh, or no, or are you I'm, still? I'm, okay. I'm a little, I'm, I could probably ride with Mike's if it was just all flat or downhill. Okay. But when it gets to the uphill, yeah. I'm pretty slow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, your, your mom and I rode with him one week and she and I were behind. Okay. And I think she was ahead of me. My, <laughs> so my she's 70 great. Palmer Park? Mom. Yes. Is that the Palmer Park run? I remember that. That's great. My mom is a beast <laughs> yes, on a she bike. Yes, she is. She's amazing. <laughs> she, she's doing amazing. So, well, you know, I modeled this because uh, I led a bike club in Phoenix back mm-hmm. uh, just out of college for a TV station I worked for, uh, helping leading training rides and things. Cool. And you know, just learning how to get, lead a good ride. But mm-hmm. it was when I moved to Colorado Springs, gosh, 22 years ago wow. now, um, I was a new mom. I didn't know anybody. Mm. And um, really finding the Colorado Springs Cycling Club changed my life. Yeah. It literally changed my life. I went from knowing everybody in my community in Phoenix to knowing no one and just trying to find my people and when I found that club I found my people and they were amazing I got to learn the trails but also was now not just me as a person I had kids in tow and they helped me you know fix flats they helped show me the trails they you know they would hold my babies while I had to go to the bathroom (laughs) and you know we went from eating they went from eating lunches at Patty Jewett to um, you know getting subway sandwiches and going to a playground so my kids could play and I was I was part of the Colorado Springs Cycling Club and I still am but um, uh, really that was my family when I was a stay-at-home mm-hmm. mom for six years yeah. I would just clean up the house in the morning and then throw the kids in the trailer uh, and go out for the day on an adventure and uh, it was just the best way to get to know and f- yeah. I fell in love with Colorado Springs by bike um, I'm super grateful to the Colorado Springs Cycling Club. I'm now a board member of the mm-hmm. club, and our Saturday rides are also an official ride of the yeah. Colorado Springs Cycling Club. Mm-hmm. So uh, we very much like to work with them and trying to ensure – because, you know, I think it's good to have mentors, too. They are the mm-hmm. oldest and um, longest-running site club in the uh, community. They've done so much for advocacy for biking in the community. They're, cool. they're, um, they're mem- they've had their own advocacy group for a long time. Mm -hmm. even going to the Capitol to help advocate for uh, bike issues. One of their members actually helped open up Pikes Peak to bicycles. Mm -hmm. Um, Al Brody did that, you know, um, and then some of those members have become some of like the best um, bike experts and people in the community, like Alan Beauchamp was Mm -hmm. the president of the Mm -hmm. Colorado Springs Cycling Club before. So, uh, you know, I've had a good big brother, big sister model in this, and it was actually uh, Sarah Hill um, who leads their Mm -hmm. Saturday coffee yeah. rides. Her dad was my first ride leader Aww. in the spring stand yeah. him. She's wow. great. And he taught me how to lead a safe ride and, mm-hmm. um, and, you know, to be able to, you know, rally people in a good spot and, I mean, knock on wood, it's only those people that have really gone rogue that have problems on this is true. ride. If, <laughs> this is true. If you don't stop at an intersection, that is not our fault. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are going too fast on a trail that might have a few bumps in it, you know. But we lead a pretty safe ride. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, over a decade I've been leading the rides now, and you've been leading them for three years now um, and riding. Like, you get to know these trails, and you know all those mm-hmm. little divots and spots by heart and a good club will tell you when they're coming and you know signal you but talking about that we met through the Colorado Springs Cycling Club my bestie Gail (laughs) yeah that was my first ride too like Mike like Mike said it was his first ride he met you and it was my first ride at the cycling club and I met Tori the Tori (laughs) Tori Nato (laughs) Tori Nato yeah that's why I I am quite quite something. So tell me about that. 
Well, I was a little nervous because I had never done a meetup thing before. You know, it's kind of like a... So you're military. You, yes. You were military and you're fairly new to the Springs or... I wasn't exactly new. I've actually been here 13 years. Like, <laughs> longer than most military people, but I've just kind but of But you weren't floated. biking. I wasn't biking. I had biked before, but I took a break from it for a while. And then I just decided I, I needed to do it again. So I didn't want to go by myself. And I heard about this meetup app. Felt like a dating app. Felt weird. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I'll try this. Because so, I'm sure you have no trouble in that area. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I've tried it like once. <laughs> Didn't work out. Um, so yeah, I tried. I tested it out, and everyone was really nice. It was one of those latte rides. Yeah. And then um, with Sarah. With Sarah and. Yep. You were really the only one I kind of connected with along the bike ride because you know you start to just go like ride next to someone and you're talking and either you want to have a conversation or you or you're not really into it and you just kind of keep going so with you i was into it yeah and we got there and we had our latte and there was this place i could tell you had a little wild and you were my, my kind of people <laughs> well i think we were the youngest ones <laughs> yeah. on the ride um not to like say it's not an all person no. club yeah, it's, it's just not. it was just it's an older teasing. crowd Right. So I was just really thankful to be on that ride and meet you. And we, we found a little place called like Donuts and Noodles. And we thought that was really interesting that that was the title of the of the restaurant. So Tori, she, she got donuts and we shared donuts and it was just like a little friend date. And we've been friends ever since. That was what, seven years ago? Because you had just bought the lodge. I just bought the lodge. Yeah. Wow. So we had our latte She's and our donuts. She's my favorite pool girl. Oh. And we rode back home and... I think ever since then I've been on Buffalo Lodge rides. I don't think yeah. I ever did another one again with the Springs Club. I just yeah. did it with with you. But you uh, you also like joined our. Um, so we don't just ride um, our week our rides our weekly rides out of the lodge. We also go on some team adventures, and you've even joined me for our team ride across Iowa. I we, did. We have our team van now and everything, and uh, you did that trek, and it was so much fun to have you representing in. Iowa riding with like 20,000 plus riders in us. That was quite an adventure. And I really needed that adventure because COVID had just mm. like it was start starting to go away and we had just been cooped up for so long that it felt like I, I really needed that. And, you know, after after that trip, you just learn, you just realize you learn so much about yourself and other riders in Iowa. And it was just like the experience of a lifetime. So I want to thank Tori because <laughs> she kind of convinced me. Pushed you out of your comfort zone there. Exactly, yeah. It was very fun. Yeah, we had a blast. We have a good time. I mean, there really is no way of... Uh, if you haven't, I mean, uh, when I used to organize rides for Chick-fil-A, um, you know, it was a lot of people's first group ride ever. There was something about offering a free chicken breakfast if you came out for a bike ride that got people off their couches, you know, <laughs> and, and like joining a community bike ride. And I mean, not to name names. Well, no, I will name names like uh, Jimmy Clary. We were I was, you know, his first ride group ride group leader. Um, uh, uh, Michael, um, why am I? Michael Watry, um, Amy Batston. I think it was her first group bike ride. Um, but it's so fun. Like once you get people out and kind of a more casual, you know, um, it's amazing how you can connect over these great little mini adventures throughout the community and just really become great friends in a way. I think we connect fast mm -hmm. when we're on a bike. Like you just. Uh, there's just a special camaraderie that you have when you're doing these little adventures together. And um, some of my favorite times were like with a little subgroup during COVID um, where we would just meet and ride socially distanced, but still get out as a community and things like that. But so should we talk about like what our rides look like? If you if you are out there and you want to know, like, is the Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe, we like that name, Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe, is that the ride for me? So how do you know if that's right for you? And what do we do? What are what are our rides, distances? Where do we go? Mike, you, you share. Okay. So first of all, I would just like to share my perspective on what the Buffalo Lodge is to me and what I try to embody when I come to ride my bike with all these wonderful people who show up all the time but for me what i think separates us from like other clubs is like i said what i try to embody is that first and foremost we're all people 
well, people first and cyclists second. Mm -hmm. So I try to look at everybody like they're human. You know, I treat everybody as just human people, just like me. We all experience the same things, good and bad. So I try to just feed off of that and say, let's go for a bike ride. Let's just enjoy the nice day. The sun's out. Let's go paddle and just enjoy it. I sense that. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. But okay, so side side track there. So we'll, we'll get back to the rides now. So our Saturday rides, which are at 10 o'clock now, because it's off season, mm -hmm. I try to make them at least two hours long. Sometimes they go over, depending if we stop or take pictures or whatnot. Or who the people are. Or who the people are, who right. shows up that yeah. day. There's a bunch of variables. But typically we have 10 different destinations, 10 or so destinations that we kind of rotate through. And we're in an amazing location to start those rides. We sure are. Like, what do you love about where the Buffalo Lodge start line is? Oh, it's beautiful. It's We're directly south of the Garden of the Gods. You could go do a full loop of the garden, and it's like eight miles and back to the lodge. But we just had a great location. No matter which direction you go, you can go west, hit all the hills in Manitou. You could go east to downtown to Memorial Park. You could go north, Blodgett, Flying W, go visit our friends over at Criterion Bike Shop, which is another popular one. We're very close to the bottom and base of Gold Camp Road, which is another just local favorite road that Love everybody that. loves to ride. But yeah, we go through UCCS campus. That seems to be a club favorite. There's a good hill leading up there and a nice descent bombing down to the University Plaza that everybody enjoys. You do get to know them by heart, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> every turn. Oh, yeah. I know every crack, every bike lane in town at this point. <laughs> every biker's crack, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm usually in the front, so that's oh. Todd's job. That's Todd over there looking at all the butt crack. <laughs> I just okay. want to say, check your Speedos in the, uh, or not Speedos, <laughs> check your bike pants in the mirror before you head out. Make sure that you oh, haven't been dear. wearing them too long, oh, you know. <laughs> it's funny you brought that up because yesterday I went out for a ride. I had 45 minutes. I live within a mile of the lodge and I was going to go through the garden. And as soon as I turned the corner off of my street, there was a rider from the tribe that I was like, I think I recognize her. You know, and uh -huh. sure enough, so yeah, we rode through the garden for a little while. She went one way, I went the other because she was going home. But you know, it's kind of neat that mm -hmm. just on a middle of the day, spontaneous ride, there I am meeting somebody that I've met. And yeah, I could tell her pedal stroke from behind. So yeah, it wasn't her crack, it was her oh. pedal. <laughs> <laughs> was, yeah. We weren't going off of that. <laughs> So, uh, and then we love the zoo and Seven Falls. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are so many beautiful places to ride in Colorado Springs. And we are talking road biking here. So our goal in the future is to have a regular mountain bike ride. Right now, we just suggest that you go connect with the um, Trails in Taproom Trailblazers on a Wednesday night. Uh, you know, Women's Mountain Biking Association has regular rides that all meet right right down the street from us so you can come stay at the lodge and then go out and ride with a cool club but you know we host our own gravel race but we don't have our own weekly gravel ride so we're working on that i think i might like to start an e-bike club oh, yeah. uh, and maybe a tandem club because i have some tandems too so you might see some more offerings coming up uh in the future from us but right now we're talking about road biking mm -hmm. you can bring whatever kind of bike you can ride we have people on fixie bikes that <laughs> yes. can keep Keep up with us going up some of the toughest climbs that just happened last weekend, right? You had uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan, Dan coming by, yeah. Bixie, <laughs> keeping up for what did you what did you guys do last week? Palmer Park. Last week we did a ride to Criterion. Oh, bike Criterion. Shop. Okay, yep. but did he have any trouble keeping up on that fixie? He was perfectly capable, <laughs> standing up on the handlebars, standing surfing up on the handlebars and surfing. We get some characters out yeah. there. What's really fun, I think, is when we get somebody that is coming and staying. I mean, the whole idea for me was what makes the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort a bicycle resort, and it is having regular, you know, rides that people can connect with. And you know, when I see other hotels they're charging for those rides you have to pay for a guided tour to go somewhere the amazing thing with our club is your first ride is free then we do suggest that you become a member um, but we you can come and ride with a local club and learn our local trails and it is so amazing when we get a guest at the lodge that you know like they get to come and ride with locals, learn the local trails, hang out and have a bar, a beer in our bar afterwards. And it's quite a unique experience that 
I don't think that I know any other hotel mm-hmm. offering free community bike rides that you can join and hook up with. And uh, and if you're coming to the lodge and road biking is not your thing, we have so many other groups. Every day of the week, we can point you in the direction of a different club that you can just pop in and join or connect you with some of the local trails here for mountain biking and gravel. But uh, it's it's super special. What time? So I think it was a Monday. Actually, he might have come twice. There was a guy who came who was standing at the lodge with his wife and young kid. And uh, when we get done with our rides, we do a victory loop around the lodge property, which uh, is always awesome. Remind me to awesome. tell you more about that yeah. later. Okay. So uh, the the wife and the kid are there. We're, we're starting the victory loop, cheering the dad on, you know. And it was like really neat that, that was going on. Well, that's so. it. We now have this whole even finish line patio where, you know, you can sit out there and drink and enjoy beers or go shopping at Mantu, come back and, you know, watch all the mm-hmm. riders come in our patio. Um, uh, Sheila, you're going to have to go because yes. are you having your first massage well, in a in, year? In a year. I really need it. Ooh. You really need it. But what else, <laughs> anything else that you want to say to um, to everybody about I the can't. club or any other things that we missed? It's, well, it's just a great place. And I, you know, like I said, I try to tell people about you guys and everything you're doing and Mike and, and, uh, I don't know. I and we're not just, you know, we're all ages, all abilities. Yes. Um, and, and one of the, all kinds of act. There are lots of other activities that I'm, I haven't been able to join them, but I, you know, I know about them and it's, it's awesome. The Actually, yoga and the, the hiking, the trail rides, you know, all the different things you do. It's really amazing. But you did participate in one of my favorite club events, and that is our annual, um, what was it, Mardi Gras parade or coffin no, it races? it was the coffin races. It was the coffin races. <laughs> races. So she can unicycle still. Very good. She, you, I'm 64. She's, Amazingly. I mean, she can unicycle, and you unicycled with our entry in the coffin race parade yeah. last year, and, and you brought the terror dactyl unicyclist oh she was that yes my friend she's awesome audrey (laughs) but you are quite the cyclist and i mean uh you're just amazing thank you for so much for being part of our bicycling community here and part of our tribe and for coming out at short notice today don't be late for your massage okay thank you all right we love you sheila thank you so much thanks for coming sheila yeah i'm so glad you could make it out so, oh well, I'll have to post pictures somewhere of her on her unicycle. I mean, she's you and just such good energy. I just I love the diversity of everybody that we get, and um, you know, it's just and I mean, Sheila kicks my butt. You know, <laughs> she, she's a strong rider. She's a very strong rider. She kicks my although it doesn't take much. I'm more of your you know beer drinking bicyclist, <laughs> but uh, whatever. <laughs> You, you still cannot, show up. You cannot judge a book by your by its cover. You just you know, all ages, all abilities. So, um, what was the one thing I said we have to come back to? Uh, yeah. Oh. Victory loop. The Victory Loop. So mm. one of the traditions with the Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe is that we do a Victory Loop um, or a Loop of Gratitude around the lodge before you get off your bike and put it away. Yep. Um, and that is because um, when I had the dream for the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort uh, eight years ago now, um, I used to just take my 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 Chick Fil A bike rides. I used to make my bike groups go do a loop through the garden, and then I would take them through the Buffalo Lodge, and and tell them how I was going to own the hotel one day, and and I was pretty you know. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was pretty certain I was going to do it if I set my mind to it. And so I'd make the group ride through it. I have to tell you that like Lee Willimon would be like, are you going to make us ride through that hotel again? <laughs> you know, like, why do we keep having a ride through the hotel? I'm like, I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting my, you know, my destiny and uh, hang with me. And then the owner started being like, could you stop riding through our property all the time? Uh-huh. But yeah, heck yeah. yeah. Now, every time we get Get back from a bike ride we take that victory lap or the loop of gratitude to celebrate the fact that somebody with you know no savings no money just a big heart and a big dream for a place that she could raise her kids and connect the biking community could you know work and play and uh that i was able to make that dream happen i think i should always celebrate always. and never Agreed. take for granted because uh well i should never take it for granted because it's like 
it's it's hard you know and we need you people to come and visit in the off season too that's one of the other things i need to say like we are a biking destination not just from may and memorial day to labor day um we are a biking destination year round i mean we have 300 days of shine and um we are a bike club that rides year round it's just a matter of having the right gear the only time that we don't ride it's still scheduled we have a ride scheduled every saturday year round from the lodge so you should come join us any time of year it's always great community but the only time we don't ride uh is if there's actual like heavy snow or ice on the ground and what are you gonna say? i meant to tell you this off camera but maybe we should switch those rides to hikes Oh, yeah. we, we have year, done that before. We right. have yeah. done that before. Show up anyway. Well, sometimes yeah, there's those conditions where people still don't even feel safe driving or whatever. Yeah. You're a mile away. You know, Gail's all the way out east. You know, she might, you know, she might not want to like risk life and limb to come She's out. She's smarter but... than I am, too. So. <laughs> I mean, if someone wants to pick me up, I, <laughs> I might be able to find some volunteers for that, Gail. <laughs> but, uh, breakfast. But yeah, I think that, you know, when you can still show up because what the weather looks like on one side of town in Black Forest or out on the east side of town is not the weather in Manitou Springs. And you may be trying to ride off the weather out there and we are out having a magnificent bike ride in the garden covered in snow, but the streets are dry. So, I mean, do not write it off. Now, uh, I do want to also give a shout out. We put on our low, our own biking events. You know, we have every year we have the Cycling Santa the first Saturday in December. Um, and that is that is a Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe sponsored, you know, event that we get hundreds of people dressed in Santa suits riding through the springs. We have our own gravel race. Uh, I th- I'm not sure whether we're going to be in, uh, you got to pay attention. We might be in sometime August. August to October next year. Um, the Rampart Rager, we have uh, 50, 75, and 100K options for that. Um, but we also sponsor a lot of rides in town. Uh, we spon- you know, we've sponsored in the past, like the um, St. Patrick's Day ride um, through the community, the Starlight Spectacular ride through the community. Uh, you'll find our people, you know, connected in some way with all the clubs. We also sponsor a lot of other clubs through the Buffalo Lodge Bike Tribe, like the or the buffalo lodge bicycle resort uh like we sponsor the women's mountain biking association socovello the colorado spring cycling club in addition to a lot of the trail building organizations so we are a club and a community that gives back so i I mean i don't know and then we have a great time together i mean there is nothing like sitting out on the patio or in the lodge hanging out with you guys after a ride and it's just pure joy watching the relationships form and the connections being made and then people talking about hey i'm gonna go do this ride you know do you want to go and um you know it's also fun when you get the locals that are like talking to you or the locals talking to the visitors like you should go try out this trail and hey i'll take you that's amazing right you get like you know you find a local friend to go ride with so we're just a great place to hang out for bicyclists of all kinds don't forget Meg's Bloody Marys. Oh, and Meg's Bloody Marys. Meg in our bar is, she is amazing, and she makes a great Bloody Mary. And, uh, yeah, and then and then we do do so much. There's live music every night at the Lodge. We have yoga classes on Tuesday, Aqua Zumba in the summers on Wednesday. And so, you know, we like to have a good time. And uh, it's, I mean, don't think that just because we're at a hotel that it means that you don't belong. What are you thinking, Mr. Mike? I was just thinking back to what you were just saying, how it's important to, to ride with locals and to have people passionate about cycling. Because when I first moved here, it was amazing to be part of the Buffalo Lodge and to be around all these amazing people who were willing to show me around. We would go for the Saturday group ride and be like, I'm going to show you this road, Gold Camp. And I'd be like, okay, I'll try. I'll go for it, whatever that is. And you just build these connections, these mentor teacher relationships and they really just help elevate you as a cyclist and just as a person and just because of that it's really made me want to give back to all the people that I meet you know like I love when new people come from out of town I just fill up with joy just trying to teach them and just regurgitate everything that I know about the city because I'm excited about it 
and I just want them to experience it also. I know. You're like, you're new. I got you. Yeah, come you with me. You have found your new family. Let's keep Look riding. no further. We are going to hook you up. And um, and there's so many families that are like born out of our family too. Like uh, pre-COVID, we had some uh, group of riders that came kind of new to um, the lodge and started riding together and um, they started forming their own family you know outside of it you know you think about David Sweetman and Terry and uh, and Andy and Maria and now and like they formed a friend group through our club they still come back and ride with us but now they're going off and they're doing uh, I think they just did the um, uh, Day of the Tread in Mexico I did just see last Last night, they all went to Depeche Mode together. I'm like, how did I get left out of the loop on that one? Um, they they created their ho- own little activity family, and they all do their own rides and trips and everything together, and they still come back and connect with us, but uh, we definitely spawn a lot of uh, friendships and families that, you know, uh, are pretty amazing. I mean, you've become part of my family by bike. We bought your son. I mean, you were at the lodge cleaning our pool the day before you gave birth to your son. And we, you know, my mom's become like his grandma. I've become like, you know, maybe auntie. And uh, and we bought your son his first little Strider bike and everything, right? Yeah, and it's it's at the lodge today for other little babies to nice. use. That's right. He grew, he grew out, out of it. it. Is he riding with trainers or he's off of he's trainers? Off tra- he's been off trainers since he was three years old, and I... And I want to thank you and your mom for giving him that gift of that the little Strider because it, it made him learn to balance at such a young age. He's, he's pretty amazing. He's pretty hardcore on a bike. That is a future mountain biker in the works because he's fearless. And uh, and it was neat because she then donated the bike back to the lodge for other, other people to use. So if you're coming to our area as a visitor and you don't have a bike with you, we can connect you with local bike shops. There's so many great bike shops in the area. Um, you know, we've got Routes Outfitter. We've got the Colorado Springs Bike Shop, Old Town Ted's, Criteria. I mean, you know, love those guys that even invested in making my Buffalo Lodge dreams come true. So I always got to got to go Criterium and Nick. They're amazing. But you can you can rent e-bikes. You can we we are e-bike friendly. Uh, There are some people in the club that might judge uh, a little bit. But um, but we are not. We we I just bought our first e-bikes this year. Um, I like taking an e-bike out for a nice day trip out to the mountains for a picnic. I think I'm going to do that on a date tomorrow. Uh, nice. There you go. <laughs> he hasn't ridden in a while. I'm like, I got you. We can take an e-bike. So, you know, as long as you bike, that's all that matters for me. That's you know? If you don't bike, I don't know. <laughs> that's what I wanted to mention because you didn't. You said earlier you were, you were about to go there, but on our club rides, we have a lot of people that ride on e-bikes. And I think that it's awesome because so many more people can join and participate and who cares you well, know we're just out there together having whatever fun keeps being on you bikes, moving i mean chasing our inner 10 year old and having a good time you could know? you so. ever imagine like you know you have some kind of health ailment and i think the saddest thing is to sit at home and to let that make you stop being part of the biking community my Great. grandmother was 93 years old when she became a bicyclist riding on the back of my mom's recumbent tandem she was blind and had back pain trigeminal nerve pain and for four years before she passed away she she was riding two weeks before she passed away but for four years she was part of a community her blindness had taken her out of community and into a life of solitude just listening to books on tape and when when we figured out that you know she could when my mom figured out that she go by a recumbent tandem and that my grandmother could still pedal it was the most amazing thing so you know the most important thing is that you just keep moving that's awesome a couple weeks ago we had the rider when we were up at that flagpole way up at the top of the hill the new optional ride that you found and we had a new rider that had joined from your group and had come to our group during one of the breaks and we didn't think she was coming up to the top because it was an out and back and we were going to come back down and then we saw that she was coming she has only 40 percent of her lungs and she joined our group and she took that optional ride and she made the top and there were 15 of us probably yeah 16 that yeah. all applauded for her. it was the coolest thing that was one of the most special moments of my month you know it's really neat 
That's amazing. Yeah. It was a special moment because that was a new climb that I recently found called Lanigan Place off of Flying W. <gasps> yes, Lanigan. I know that one pole. very well <laughs> from my ride for Heroes. So, yeah. Go on, Todd. Yeah, I was just going to say, that's the impressive thing is that I think Sheila said this, you know all the road names, like at the beginning of the thing, you're, you know, I'm like, yeah, you go up the hill and then you come back down the hill and then there's another up the hill and then back down the hill. And Mike's like, oh, Allegheny to Centennial. You know, <laughs> so, we, so we also have our own bike jersey. And if you join the tribe, you can get a bike jersey. We're getting ready to go round two, but I was kind of waiting, thinking like, Maybe our team, since we've got like, I think I've sold at least 600 jerseys at this point. It's kind of fun when I have a friend visiting Scotland and somebody sees our bike jersey there or in England and they're all over the place now. But uh, I was going to have all these different iterations of jerseys like most clubs. They get a new jersey every year so that you have to buy a new jersey or whatever (laughs) and that they can put new sponsors on them. I decided to forego the sponsor jerseys and and I just made it pretty much, you know, just a little over cost to buy them. But I feel like these jerseys stand out so well wherever you go um, that I just never wanted to change it. But I do have to say that new things are coming. This will still always be our base jersey. But I'm I'm working on the uh, the 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 crew the button up crew shirts. Okay. You know I'm gonna get some button up crew shirts. Yeah, we've got we've got. Te- I'm also gonna get the racer backs in these. Uh, but I'm working. I'm kind of got some cool bike companies and stuff now that uh, I want to be able to do some business with. So we might give a little bit of business to everyone. You know, Primo, Pet Timo, Kids on Bikes makes our jerseys now. So, but it definitely like when you end up somewhere and you see that jersey you have an instant friend right well yeah and it's funny how often we're on a ride and we'll see somebody coming the other way with a, you know like you missed the ride you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah well we've sold a lot of jerseys in seven years and stuff so you can find out more about our rides at um at bicycleresort.com uh, we have our ride schedule on there in the description we're also on meetup.com uh, for us and the Colorado Springs Cycling Club um, what else guys Dave am I like anything else you want to any any dying questions that you have how do we do for our first uh, video podcast. <laughs> I can't wait for you to see it. See what uh, you think. Oh, really? Okay. I might not wear the headsets because it's like you know messing up my hair and everything. I mean, I did wear my new bicycle dress though for you know the occasion. Gotta show I got, it off. Oh, I got to show it off. Show okay. it off. It's so I got, cute. Oh my gosh! I found all these amazing little bicycle dresses. <laughs> with, if you can see that, can you see that? I don't nope. know. <laughs> might not have seen the right side back there, but uh, yeah, no, I'm going to have to start looking nicer for uh, our podcast, I think, but we didn't miss anything, huh? All right, Gail, any like, we're forming a team for Rag Bride 2024 right now. That ride is a, we took 26 people last year. We're actually kind of uh, famous. This is the Registrar's Annual Great Bicycle Ride across Iowa in July. And um, we took 26 last year, I think 16 the year before and 24 the year before. But uh, we're signing up for that team now. Uh, I think we're going to do the El Tour de Tucson next year and form a team for that. We have our team van put it to good use. Uh, Michael has done shuttle for our friends on what was that? Was it triple bypass? The triple bypass event. Triple right. bypass. So we, you know, we're working on getting involved in more rides that we can uh, team shuttle to. So we have a 15 passenger van with bike racks for 15 on the top. So uh, you know, I mean, watch for us coming to a ride near you. Yeah. And if you think that Colorado Springs, you know, um, I was just with in Denver. They don't know they don't know in denver they think boulder is the place to ride and i mean you are missing out if you don't know colorado biking and if you don't know uh colorado springs biking be sure to check out my pedal the springs podcast um and some of our past issues i talk about mountain biking mecca i talk about our urban trail system uh talk about winter biking this is a great place for that too but um i mean we really are a biking mecca there's hundreds of miles of bike trails and call it pay 
paved bike trails. We're connecting more all the time. I mean, all the time. Uh, and then just, you know, tons of mountain biking trails. You can ride up and down Pikes Peak. I mean, that, if you've never done that here as a uh, local um, or if you're coming to visit, the opportunity to ride up Pikes Peak will definitely test you. I mean, I did it, uh, I think it was five years ago now five six years ago i did it with my 13 year old son on a unicycle if i could do it he could do it you could ride up pikes peak too daniel did it at 11 on a unicycle uh it's kind of crazy but uh this is just such a beautiful spot we've got garden of the gods right in our backyard and uh we hope you'll come and see us thank you guys so much for coming and being on our podcast today all the beautiful people (laughs) for our first video one all right thank you guys be sure to check out the show notes for links we mentioned in this episode and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also be sure to check out the other fine podcasts on studio studio 809 podcast.com your local voices at the pikes peak region pedal the springs podcast is produced by studio 809 and presented by the buffalo lodge bicycle resort the only bicycle themed lodging and must stay for cyclists coming to colorado springs Rings, check us out at bicycleresort.com. Thank you. Woohoo! Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we say. <laughs>